All right, hello and welcome back. I'm Sean T.D. Stewart, the home gamer, and I'm here again playing Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. In the previous episode, we had completed the quest titled Tide Goes In, Imperials Go Out. Now we're continuing the main scenario quest by talking here to Gosetsu in order to find out what we're going to be doing next. A silence in three parts. Though he is less than the picture of perfect health, Gosetsu is ready to resume his journey to Zancia. Let's accept. You did well, Sean. Were it not for the tremendous strength and bravery of you and yours, many innocent souls would have suffered terrible fates. Though I knew the Confederacy would be loath to meet the Imperials in battle, I also knew that if any of them could win them over, it would be you. Truly yours is a heroic spirit that inspires men to rise above their circumstances, to strive for something greater. It will be an honor to travel with you again. Thank you, man. Now then, let us not squander the Confederacy's gift. Yanzia and my countrymen await. There is a tunnel to the southwest. We need but follow it to reach our destination. With me. Alright. So we're going to follow Gosetsu. Here. So, uh, which way is he going? South? Oh, that's a different quest. Um, journey to Sansia. Oh, wait. Oh, not attuned, not attuned. So we gotta go. Oh, we gotta go through here. We're actually going to a new territory. Excellent. So let's mount up. And we're actually gonna be going to a new area altogether. I think we're about to hit our level 64 uh, level limit. Pretty soon, I'm pretty sure the quest is gonna require level 64. Which is gonna be fine. Let's go to a uh, Ancia three. Ancia, I can't remember what they, how they pronounced it. Meanwhile, on the shores of Othad. We cannot rest here for long. This place is not safe. Mayhap no worries if thieves can breach our vaults. Nevertheless, it is our duty to protect these treasures, and we shall not fail for want of effort. So, this is why you abandoned your posts. And without a word of explanation at that. Rather thoughtless of you, was it not? Oh no, they better get killed. Lady Yotsuyu, pray forgive us our absence, but our home was under attack, our vaults plundered by outsiders. Did you even pause to consider the possibility that it might be a diversion? What is the point of contracting your services if you are not here when they are required? True. I'm about to get in trouble. It is my solemn charge to bring these vermin to heal. To torment them, body and soul, until all they hold dear is as bitter ashes in their mouths. And then you go and ruin everything! There's not to be gained in belaboring the point. All that remains is to administer your punishment. Wait, my lady! Dang, you're making turtle soup out of them. No. No, it's no good. There's just no joy in it. No release. There... there needs to be some investment. 
They were negligent imbeciles deserving of punishment, but it was hardly personal. Ten thousand such caution could not satisfy me half so well as a single dormant. One of the vaunted treasures of the Red? The craftsmanship is certainly impressive. Mayhap we can use it to make amends. How long before Lord Xenos reinstates me, do you reckon? I've got unfinished business back in Aeorzea. Is serving me really so unbearable? At least pretend to enjoy, you witless lump! If you are so desperate to earn a way back to Eorzea, then be quiet and do as you're told. And bring that sword while you're at it. Family in Doma. I remember the silence. How the talking stopped when we first set foot on the plains of Yansha. Before us stood yet another wall, and through a great Magitech field we glimpsed Doma Castle. I'll never forget the sight, or the anger I felt that day. Life, liberty, hope, so much lost, so much taken. As we walked through that war-torn land, no one said a word. We're here. Just talking back to Gosetsu. Oh, yes, this is far enough. I will proceed further. I should speak to Zancia. Zancia. And what became of her? And what lies beyond the Great Wall at the heart of Doom? And we should be glad to hear it, but it's wise for us to have this conversation here on the road, out in the open. Once your caution would be wanted, but no longer. Xenos did not linger after he crushed the rebellion. He appointed Yasuyu to act in his stead and quit these lands for a fresh sport. The acting Vassaroy was no less merciless than her master. Without warning, her men would march into villages and search for radical elements, killing and torturing any who dared resist. And then as quickly as they had come, they left. Satisfied that the memory of their purges would keep the people in line, she relaxed her grip on Sancha. What need for the leash when the dog is broken? The village of Namai lies to the west, though I doubt the Imperials are present. Let us proceed with caution. Cool, let's do it. Ooh, a tiger. Let's go ahead and mount up. And we shall proceed. Let's zoom out a bit so we can get a better lay of the land. It's all the road.
There she is, the humble village of Namai. How delicious her rice, how sweet her persimmons. Too long has it been since I saw her with my own eyes, and for a mercy, the Imperials appear to be absent. All right, thank you very much for watching. I'm Sean T.D. Stewart, the home gamer. And it looks like, as I expected, we are level capped right now. We have to attain level 64 before we can proceed with the main scenario quest. And we are about 30% of the way through level 63. So we have to level up our character. Uh, but while we're here, since we're in this new area, we're going to tune to the etherite so that we can access again this location more readily. Let's go ahead and tune to the location so we can teleport here in the future. And then we're going to head back to the Ruby Sea and do all those quests. There's a ton of quests in the Ruby Sea that we can do. And it doesn't really seem to be much here, but we can mend our gear. At the least. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please tune in again next time for more main scenario quests. Bye.